It was a fine sunny morning, and Thomas was working extra hard to finish his duties early. Today was race day. That afternoon, all the engines on the island of Sodor would gather to compete in a series of races. Thomas had never won a prize before, but he was determined for that to change. The engines could barely contain their excitement as they prepared for the races. The fat controller made a speech, wishing them all luck. And I want you all looking spick and span so I can feel proud of you, he said, although he felt very proud of them already. Next, each engine was to have a shiny new coat of paint. James thought this a real treat. Admiring his fresh red paintwork and polished brass fittings, he wondered if some sort of prize might be awarded to the smartest engine. Before the first race, each engine headed off to the depot to collect enough coal to last the day. Diesel and the trucks were busier than ever, trying to keep up with demand. But for a change, even they weren't grumbling. Everybody loved race day. Everybody gathered at Knapford Station. The fat controller spoke to each engine and told them where their first race would begin. Everyone was bursting with excitement as he finally declared, Good luck to you all, and may the best engine win! At last, the first races were about to begin. There was a terrific noise as the engines built up steam and the crowd began to shout and cheer. Suddenly, the station master blew his whistle and waved his flag. They were off. Thomas had made it to the final race of his group but was dismayed to learn that his opponent was Gordon. Gordon was a big engine and proud of his speed. Thomas was worried, but determined to do his best. Thomas raced on as he approached the points. Plucky lad, said the signalman. I've never seen an engine take the points so fast. Then he heard the engine's wails, as the reason for Thomas's speed became clear. My brakes have failed! The brake failure resulted in a record-breaking time for the course that no one was likely to try and better. Gordon was rather put out at losing, but was so relieved that his friend had avoided a crash. Besides, there were many more races still to run. After the races, most of the engines returned home covered in soot and grime. Racing can be a messy business. Don't worry, said the workman at the depot. We'll soon have you sparkling again. And so the cleaning began. Finally, race day was over. Each engine had won at least one prize, so everyone was happy. But all that rushing around had utterly worn them out. One by one, the engines rolled wearily onto the turntable, longing for their own sheds and some well-earned sleep. Race day had been a roaring success, and when the fat controller dropped by to say goodnight, he looked very proud indeed. The bigger engines talked and laughed about the day's events, but Thomas and Percy were soon fast asleep and dreaming about next time. <laughs>